Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about everyday perfume for women. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now, I have always been asked this question, what perfumes are best for everyday wear what perfumes can i wear to work what perfumes can i wear to an occasion and i thought that i would bring it in a video but this time i'm going to do it a little bit more different now i am thinking to fit the perfume to every single day of the week for example basically there's seven perfumes seven perfumes and i'm going to tell you the ones that i feel like will be perfect for a monday for a tuesday because we all kind of have the same vibes and feelings when it comes to days of the week mondays are usually the most stressful the most crappiest really of the days of the week and i know we should be positive and positive thinking but i have tried but mondays are always the same so i thought that i will bring you monday to sunday type perfumes starting with laundry d intense by Givenchy now this perfume I have not worn this in a really 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 long time because the sesame note in here is so prominent now this is a white floral with a lot a lot of sesame so it gives a nutty vibe it gives a little bit of a sweetness but it's a beautiful beautiful floral perfume one of the best flankers from this house i am incredibly obsessed with this perfume the longevity on this is mind-blowing now on a monday you're probably you know really rushed off your feet for me i'm rushed off my feet i'm dropping my kids at school i'm rushing to go and park my car so i can get on the train and get into central london to get into work so mondays for me i need a really good performing perfume that will actually give me a boss vibe but also feminine at the same time and that's what this perfume does for me so that is laundry d by Givenchy now on a tuesday it's a little bit a little bit less stressful for me anyway tuesday is one of those days of the week that is just a little bit weird like i don't really know what i feel on a tuesday but i know that i'm not as stressed as a monday and i want something that would kind of elevate me that would make me feel sweet but also bossy at the same time i want something that's going to last me a very long time because i'm in meetings most days i'm meeting two to three times a day and i actually don't want a perfume that i have to keep going to reapply over and over again so i decided to go for the bewitching yasmin by pen halligans now the dent is denting in this perfume my juice is dark this perfume is beautiful now this is your rose oud combo now the oud in here is super friendly it's not a screechy screaming kind of oud it's very friendly it's a sweet Woody perfume that has a lot of rose and has a lot of vanilla in it this is so incredible longevity is a1 on my skin now i've had my bottle for a while because some people are telling me that some of the penhaligons um perfumes they've got recently is not lasting i can't i can't really speak on that i don't i do not think anything has been um reformulated but any perfume that sat in your collection for a while is going to get better over time that's just how it works and i feel like the bewitching yasmin definitely got better over time this is one of the best sellers of the portrait collection this one is actually a lot of people's favorite you guys already know my favorite is changing constants there's something very bossy sweet and seductive about yasmin that i really really love now moving on to wednesday monday take her for a drink on tuesday wednesday is generally a day that is just filled with stress i don't know about you guys the midweek high is normally high in the not the best way to be quite honest it's giving me monday vibes as well but a lot more stressful as it's midweek there are so many things happening in my life personally i have to work I have a nine to five, I have to pick my son up from football, I have to pick my daughter up from after school club and I get back home and I still have to carry on working and it's just a lot for me. Wednesdays are very, very stressful, but I always reach for perfumes that are so, that is so powerful and it's so like beast mode that has to keep me going. Something that gives me that engine, that's 
strength to be able to carry me through the day and i went for oud for greatness oud for greatness is oud for greatness now there are so many dupes of this perfume out there and there are some that are quite nice but for me oh the original oud for greatness is this is given this is given a luxury this is strong this is powerful <laughs> this is literally dubai in a bottle this perfume is perfectly unisex some may say it leans a little bit more masculine i used to think this but not anymore i find that it's a bang in the middle it's not too feminine it's not too masculine it's a oud forward perfume but this is a lovely almost like a pencil shaving type of oud it's so smooth to the nose this perfume has i think it's got some saffron some very very powerful notes that makes this perfume so addictive so amazing and it makes me feel so important because people can smell you people can smell you a mile away you are going to fill up a room with wood for greatness if you went into a meeting room and you had a meeting best believe people are going to smell you in that room and when the next people come and use the same room you are going to leave your central in that room that's how powerful wood for greatness is there was a time that people were comparing this to back 540 and i was like no no i get that because they share i don't know maybe a no or two in common doesn't mean they smell alike like i have back 540 i don't see the similarity this kind of stands on its own it's like a bright scent and a lot of people will think oh the weather is warming up it's spring summer maybe you know i shouldn't wear oud who says who, who, who told you you can't wear oud in the summer and in the spring because in a place like say dubai um nigeria barbados most places that they have more of the hot season than any other season. Like my sister, she constantly wear our oud perfume. No matter what the weather is saying, she wears oud. So you can put on oud for greatness. This makes this is just a powerful scent. Like I said, perfect for a Wednesday. If you, if you get stressed out on a Wednesday, like I do, definitely reach for oud for greatness by Initio. Now Thursday, we're getting ready for Friday. Like it's like. Things start to settle down. Things start to simmer down. And you're just like, okay, Thursday. Okay, I can do this. I decided to go for Wet Cherry Liquor by Boho Boko. Now, you guys can see there is barely a dent in this perfume. That's because I've not worn it in a very, very long time. Now, this is a cherry per... Ooh. This is a cherry and boozy perfume. It's more boozy than cherry on my skin either it lasts long it puts you in a mindset of weekend is just around the corner i just think this is incredible it does have a slight touch of similarity to lost cherry i didn't think so at first but it does just a just a smidge but lost cherry is definitely more forward with the sour cherry whereas this one is a sweeter cherry to my nose with a lot and lot of booziness, which I absolutely love. Perfectly unisex, great longevity. It doesn't have that medicinal scent that people tend to not like in cherry perfumes to my nose because our noses are different. I never ever once got a medicinal vibe or a herbal vibe from this perfume at all. To be honest with you guys, I don't get that medicinal thing in cherries that a lot of people get it might just be my nose is not picking it up thank god for that but this does not smell medicinal this smells amazing it's a compliment magnet i absolutely love it so that is wet cherry liqueur by boho boco and now it's friday happy friday <laughs> friday is still another week to go for me but as a friday scent i opted for oriana by performs the mali now this is flirtatious this is feminine this is womanly i will pick this over love don't be shy any day this perfume is amazing i don't have to keep you i don't have to say anything i don't have to sell this perfume to you you guys already know oriana is that perfume it is so beautiful it's one of my favorite from the whole performs the Mali line is always going to be a repurchase for me forever such a shame that i have maybe like 20 percent of this bottle left and why and actually performs the Mali, why are your perfume 75 mil why this should be 100 mil because we pay what 240 pounds for 75 mil come on why was this not 100 mil in the first place that is a piss take in my opinion but anyway it's going to be a repurchase for life because i love it so that is oriana by performs the mali <laughs> and now it is saturday and i thinking to opt for something that is more easy reach easy to like 
compliment getting. I don't even have to think about it. Now, in my whole entire collection, this perfume is my easiest grab and go. Because Saturday, I don't know about you guys, I'm running errands, I'm cooking, um, I'm taking my son to football, I'm taking my daughter out, I'm doing things and I want a perfume that can last me a long time and still smell really nice and easy to just wear. And I went for Valentino Donna Bon in Roma. In my whole collection, guys, this perfume I reach for so much because it is just perfect for anything. Like if you're going to the market, if you're going to a wedding, going on a date, if you are going to the shops, like wherever you're going, Donna Bon in Roma does not let you down. This is a beautiful floral scent with a vanilla dry down. Now this DNA is not new. It's not particularly special, but do I love it? Yes, I do. I didn't like it at first because I thought it was basic and I still think it's basic, but it's a basic perfume that I need in my collection because i don't have to think about it men love this perfume on women it's a beautiful floral scent like i said it has a lot of very pretty notes it's very like it's pumped with a lot of vanilla as well and i highly recommend it it's got good longevity again easy reach you can't you can't go wrong with this perfume it is simply stunning and last but not least it's a sunday it's a sunday and you just want to chill you want to be here in my premiere talking to me having a bowl of crisp or you're having a cup of tea or you're having a beverage of choice you just want to chill out on a sunday some of you go to church some people just chill at home and do service in their houses sundays is a day to relax and get ready for monday and i went for a easy peasy vanilla that just smells so addictive so chocolatey so cozy nebras baletafa guys i already told you i already have a backup bottle for this perfume i am obsessed with nebras i feel personally that this is the best from the house i've smelled the new one teriyak <laughs> that perfume is bad <laughs> that baby is bad i'm not even going to lie to you guys i'm not even gonna sugarcoat nothing i do not like teriyak i don't like it i i i don't if it was given to me if it was sent to me in pr i'd have to say listen people of um from letafa i am not going to say this is nice because this perfume there's something about it do you know what i'm gonna reserve my comment because i want to do a video about hyped up perfumes that that are just so bad that they are so bad that you know people that love it are just lying. Fair enough, fair enough. Perfumes are subjective, but with Teriyak, it is not subjective. That perfume, gosh. Anyway, Nebras is a beautiful chocolatey vanilla. I believe it's got some like red fruits. Oh my God. This perfume is well crafted, well balanced, well rounded, well everything. It's chef's kiss, in my opinion. You can actually wear this. In the spring in the summer it's a vanilla but it's a light it's fluffy it's airy it is amazing it's nevras by latafa so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching let me know if you want to see more of these kind of everyday perfumes um if you want to see niche options if you want to see designer middle eastern comment it down below comment any video ideas you would like me to do down below i look forward to reading all of your comments thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye